Uh, I know there's an awful lot of speculation about Todd at the moment, and there always is with good players. Um, he's been in a situation where we arrived and he hadn't been training with the first team for a while. We've had to build up his fitness and he's in a good place now. So he's in contention to play on Sunday. Um, but, you know, I don't deal with the, the speculation Stuart does. Uh, so I don't, I don't know who's the honest answer. Um, hopefully he'll be, he'll be here still, um, you know, and, and playing well because that's what we want from him. We know what he can do at this level. And, um, you know, we're working hard with him to get him back to that level. No, I mean, I've had a chat with, with Stuart in terms of the, the general window. We're looking at all options, um, what's out there, as any club should be. Um, but we could have the best window out of everybody. The fact that I've got 10 players coming back who have been missing for the last three or four games, um, you know, without actually spending any money. So, um, you know, it's an overinflated window, as we all know, and it's a very difficult window. So, you know, we're working down options open. We can't compete with them financially. I think everybody knows that. But, you know, I made my, own, my, my thoughts known before. I don't think anybody can buy their way out of safety. I don't think anybody can buy their way to the title. It, it doesn't work like that. You, you need good players and you need good coaches, uh, uh, you know, uh, to get a good team and, and improve on places. It's, it's such a tough league as, as we see. And, you know, Man City are running away with it because they've won 11 games on spin. And, um, you know, exceptional teams have to go and do um, that. Yeah, it's looking a lot, lot healthier. We've obviously got uh, five or six back. Um, Matthias Norman had a, an operation, so he's going to be a little bit longer. We're looking at Rashika, who's going to train today with us. Um, so he, he will be back. Grant Hanley's done some training with us as well. So we've got a number of players back. Tim Krull, he's back. Uh, Timu Puki's back. Max Ahrens, Todd Camp Campwell are back. Um, you know, and it, it's been a real tough Christmas period. We we played really well against Manchester United and and then we've had three poor results over Christmas. And sometimes I have to go and reflect on it. And two words came to mind, perspective and, and context. And, uh, you know, I looked at Liverpool last year and they lost Alisson, Van Dijk, Gomez and and slipped out the, at the top four for the period. Um, we've had 10 players out and, you know, seven or eight of them are typical starters at times and have been since they've been at the club. So, you know, for me, it's been disappointing, but um, sometimes you have to put it into perspective of what it is. Yeah, no, I'm a bit of a traditionalist, so I like the FA Cup. Um, you know, these players are only given three opportunities to win something during a season. The EFL Cup, the FA Cup and the Premier League, you know, and very unlikely for, for us to be challenging in the... Uh, for the Premier League title. So, you know, why not go all out to try and uh, do well in the FA Cup? So we'll be going out and it'll be a very mixed team because, you know, uh, we've got a lot of players coming back who can play. Um, you know, so we're looking forward to, to the game and the challenge. Well, we're, we're hopeful that, that it is. Um, I think if you ask any manager, they'll say they would have wanted longer. Um, but it is what it is. We, we've been forced to play three games pretty much with a, a minimal squad um, and it's affected us and it's affected the performances and the results. So, you know, it's nice to have players come back and, and rebuild the confidence that we gained when we first came in. Um, we'll look at the, the players today and tomorrow and, uh, and see where we go with it. Uh, Tim hasn't played, obviously, for a couple of weeks due to, due to COVID. Um, Gunny's come into the team uh, and played. And we've got Mick McGovern as well, who's, who's pushing as well. So we've got a, a number of options to, to play in, in goal. And we'll, we'll do what we feel is right. Obviously, we've got West Ham on Wednesday and then Everton on the Saturday as well. So we'll do what's right, we feel, for the club. Oh, without a shadow. Um, I was disappointed with, with what I heard. I didn't, I didn't hear it at the actual game, but I had family members in the stand. Um, and in, I, must have, I must say it was a minority. Um, and Billy knows that, but... Uh, everybody within the dressing room and the, the training ground knows the value of Billy. And as, as you say, unfortunately, a big expectation comes along with Billy. But people have to remember he's 20 years old, um, you know, and stuff like that, it will hurt. And uh, there's no one I see try more than Billy in wanting to get the ball and wanting to do well. So uh, he's, he's very well supported here uh, within the group, with the players, the staff and... Um, and, uh, you know, he'll, he'll just keep working hard to get better.
Well, it's a little bit easier for us to prepare for this one because we you know we haven't played since the 28th of, uh, of December. Normally, you've probably played four to five games and, and a game three days before this, um, which probably picks your team for you when you go into it. So we've got players coming back from illness and injury um, who are putting themselves in contention. Uh, I like winning football games and the FA Cup is our chance to win a football game against Charlton. So... You know, uh, the players know that they've got to be ready for that.